morning, good afternoon, and good evening to listeners across the world. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, and thank you for tuning into this channel. You're welcome to Afri's Concept TV, the news headline. June 12th, see how Amala saved Tinubu from Abasha's assassin during brutal fight against military dictator. The news details. The struggle for a democratic system of government remains an unforgettable experience for many Nigerians, particularly those that were involved in the struggle against the military dictators. Why MK Abiola the alleged winner of the June 12, 1993 election, could not make it alive to tell the story of his experience in the ends of military rulers. Bola Tinubu, one of his associates, once narrated how he managed to escape being assassinated by the then military head of state, General Sani Abacha. Tinubu is now the president of the country narrated how he escaped to the news during an interview in 2012. He said he normally disguised himself to enter Nigeria from Benin Republic to hold meetings with the National Democratic Coalition, NADECO, while fighting to retrieve Abiola's mandate. He, however, revealed that he was caught by the spies working for General Sani Abacha, stressing that the spies were almost everywhere. He said, I did not have a passport and couldn't have been able to travel. At a stage, they discovered our routes because they had spies all over, including Benin Republic. Twice I was caught and I fortuitously escaped. They traced me to one dinghy hotel I was hiding. According to him, the day they decided to attack him at the hotel, he went out to buy Amala, a popular food among the Yoruba tribe. He added, the day they came for me at the hotel, I had gone out on an Okada to buy Amala at a market where Yorubas are dominant. I was also able to meet Akiri Ade and the rest of them. The spies went to the hotel and as I was approaching, I saw two people wearing Sajia, that is skull caps, at the front desk asking questions. The man attending to them at the reception, I had been very nice to the receptionist, winked to me and I turned back. He also stated that Professor Wale Shoinka and Alani Akiriade also managed to escape from being caught by the spies at a different hotel. I contacted a friend in Benin Republic who was an architect and I had very strong sympathy for us. Professor Wale Shoinka and Alani Akiriade, who lodged in a better hotel, were fortunate to have escaped the night too. The people on their trail pursued them to the hotel, but fortunately missed them, he stated. So Tinubu during his June 12th, um, message to nigerians um, and during um during an an interview he he narrated to the news that um during an interview in 2012 how he escaped um being assassinated during the june 12 1993 election when mk abila were alleged um was announced the alleged winner of the june 12 election but could not make it alive to tell the story Tinubu said he managed to escape being assassinated by the then general, um, military head of state, the general Sani Abasha. And he said that um, he used to disguise to enter Nigeria then because he did not have a passport. 
to travel out so he always disguised to enter nigeria from Benin republic to hold meetings with nadeko while he was fighting to retrieve abiola's mandate but he said he, was, he didn't have a passport to travel at this stage and then um the abasha spies they discovered their roots and because they had spies all over Benin republic and he was caught twice although but he escaped and they traced him to one dinghy hotel where he was hiding he said that particular day he would have been assassinated but he actually went to buy amala on that day and he left the hotel on a bike to get amala and it was when he came back he saw two men at the reception wearing a, um, a skull cap but he has been nice to the receptionist and because of this the receptionist actually um, winked at him that if not for the receptionist that told him he would have been caught and assassinated too by the abasha people on that day and he also said wale show in katsu and um alani akiri ade too managed to escape assassination but in a different hotel too because they were actually thrilled to their hotel but they um the people trailing them actually missed them on on their way of trailing them so they were not assassinated so he said what actually saved him on that day that even for the amala he went to buy on that day he would have been assassinated and he would have not been alive today to become the president of nigeria so amala actually saved our president from not being assassinated by the then military government that um took over on june 12 1993 what's your view about this news kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates thank you for listening to the hand